Claire Walsh. He called me after Carly testified. He said if we don't get Michael on the stand, we're gonna lose. So how'd you find him? I got Morgan to talk about how much he misses his brother. Then it spilled that they moved into this place called the Copa del Oro. Nice, huh? He's my brother who trusted me. Oh, don't let yourself feel bad about that. Oh, it's easy for you to say the whole flight down there. I kept telling myself that bringing Sonny to justice was what was best for Morgan and Michael. That whatever pain they were going to go through because of it would be worth it. Then I get there, I find Michael, and I find out he's telling me he killed Claudia. Well, we don't know for certain that he's telling the truth. He could be protecting Sonny. He's got a shirt with blood on it. He says it's the shirt he wore the night he hit Claudia. All the other stuff he wore that night, Sonny burned. For some reason, Michael held on to that shirt. So you're saying that he felt so guilty that he held on to proof? I don't know. I mean, forensics will come back one way or the other, right? But if Michael's telling the truth, I mean, if he killed Claudia, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Detective, please tell the jury why you haven't been able to serve a subpoena on Michael Corinthos. Sonny Corinthos uh, and his ex-wife Carly, and Michael's parents. Well, they claim he's on a backpacking trip and he can't be reached. Do you have any reason to doubt that? Michael's been sequestered on a private island owned by his father. Objection, Your Honor. I have photographs to corroborate Detective Domestico's statement, Your Honor. I don't allow them. Your Honor, those photographs were never presented during discovery. I said I'd allow them. Detective, can you please describe what's in this photograph for the jury, please? Yes, this is a surveillance photograph uh, on a Caribbean island owned by Sonny Corinthos. It clearly has Michael on the island with two guys who are uh, known as Sonny's bodyguards, the Giambetti brothers, uh, Max and Milo. Is the photo time stamped or dated? Yes, it's uh, April 15, 2010, 2.24 p.m. See, when I, uh, when I tried to execute a search of the island in order to serve the subpoena, I was forcibly removed. That's how desperate they are to ha not have this kid testify. Objection, Your Honor. I have no further questions for this witness. Detective Domesticus comment, uh, after I was forced to remove, should be stricken from the record, and the jury will give it no weight. Mm -hmm. Detective Domestica, is this the first time that Mr. Corinthos' private island has been under surveillance? I don't believe so. So there could literally be, oh, hundreds, thousands of photographs of Michael on his father's private island with two of his father's employees, couldn't there? Well, those pictures were taken during this trial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, answer me this, Detective. If a prosecutor were desperate enough, how tough would it really be to change a date time stamp on a photo? I object, Your Honor. Ms. Miller, watch yourself. I have no further questions for the prosecution's scary surprise witness. Sonny Corinthos' ex-wife brought her baby into court, got on that stand, and put up a heart-rending show merely for the purpose of manipulating our emotions. Now, I thought that baby was just precious also. It's a wonder she didn't bring a puppy, too. So I know you're smart enough to see through a smoke screen and that a blonde lady in a pretty dress with a baby doesn't constitute fact. The facts are that Sonny Corinthos threatened to kill his wife, who was smaller and weaker than he. And he followed through with that threat the very same night. Sonny Corinthos believes he doesn't have to play by the same rules as the rest of us. Isn't it about time he's learned he's not above the law? Now I'm asking you to reach a verdict based on the irrefutable facts, the physical evidence. I am asking you to find Sonny Corinthos once and for all guilty of murder. If Michael killed Claudia and, and you turn him in, what's going to happen to him? Well, he'll have been defending his mother and a newborn baby sister. Does that mean he'd get off? 
Suspended sentence, community service and counseling, which he desperately needs. And Sonny would go free. Yeah, oh, Sonny's been getting away with murder for years. I mean, is, is he ever going to pay? Is he? Well, somehow people will keep covering for him, like you did when you got shot. Because I knew the case I had built against him. I was so sure he was going to get convicted for killing Claudia. And now, Michael, I mean, if I hand him over the courts, Sonny is a free man, again. I don't know, maybe the best thing to do is nothing. Once and for all. Huh? Well, that pretty much sums it up. This trial has never been about justice. This trial has only been about one woman's ambition. That woman, Claire Walsh, and her desire to bring down a famous man, an alleged mobster, at any cost. Claire Walsh put a child on the witness stand. Claire Walsh fomented speculation about an alleged witness, who then never materialized. Well, why should he? Michael Corinthos III never made any statement to anyone that he witnessed any killing. There hasn't been one shred of evidence, no proof, nothing, that Michael was anywhere near that cabin on that night. Nothing. And that pretty much sums up the prosecution's case. Just so much smoke and mirrors. And there's never been any attempt to hide the prejudice. A prejudice that Claire Walsh so clearly personifies that a double standard applies when the defendant is Sonny Corinthos. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason that justice is blind. And that is so that you and you and you and you and me, we all get a fair trial, regardless of rumor speculation, headlines, reputation. The only thing that matters is the truth. My client, Sonny Corinthos, is not a perfect man. But you are not here to judge his life. You are here to determine innocence or guilt regarding one action on one night. And on that night, Sonny Corinthos saved lives, lives that were threatened by a crazed, vicious, vengeful woman. In that cabin, on that night, Sonny Corinthos was not a murderer. He was a hero. The jury you are to weigh the facts that have been presented along with the material evidence. And you are to weigh the testimony that has been offered. You are to ignore the theatrics and all the remarks made by either counsel or any witness that were stricken from the record. If you determine that Sonny Corinthos was acting on his intent, which he stated earlier the same evening to kill Claudia Zakara Corinthos, then you must find him guilty. If, however, you believe that Mr. Corinthos hit the deceased in the moment without malice aforethought in order to stop her from stealing Carly Jack's newborn baby, then you must find him not guilty. The court thanks you for your service thus far, and I thank you in advance for your fair and balanced deliberation in this case. The jury is now released to the deliberation room. This court is recessed until the jury returns a verdict. All rise. Detective on the stand was going to be uh, bad for us, you know, that it would hurt us, but he did okay. May have saved the case. 